Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Flux of FluxWithIt.com, and we're going to check out the 1.3 update for the Hydrosynth from ASM. Now, this update brings some much-desired features. First up is full MPE support. That's both in, out, and in the modulation matrix. Uh, the poly aftertouch from the Hydrosynth is already pre-mapped to the MPEX parameter, so you don't really have to do any kind of complicated setup or anything. It should just work for you. Faster attack times for your envelopes, which is really nice for percussive sounds and getting those clicky, you know, upfront sounds. Warm mode. Let's talk warm mode. Warm mode is a huge update for this synthesizer because what it does is effectively it allows the character of the synth to emulate that of certain vintage synthesizers, you know? So what it does is it completely kind of rolls the sound. So you get a little bit of hype on the low end, you get a smooth tailoring off on the, on the high end, and it kind of exponentially falls off after that. Uh, so it's quite pleasing to the ear. Let's take a look at uh, a preset with warm mode off. Now let's turn it on. Turn an arpeggiator on so you guys can see how that sounds. Off. On. The effect is pretty immediate and uh, pretty recognizable. Now let's go to an initialized patch and uh, what we'll do is just take a simple saw wave. We have warm mode off. Let's turn it on. You can immediately see the change in the frequency spectrum here. Now, uh, let's just make a simple patch. Uh, we'll keep warm mode off for now and uh, see how warm mode affects it. So we'll do just a basic, you know, analog style bass patch. Let's turn the warm mode on. Let's turn warm mode on and off. And with different filters, you're going to notice quite a good good bit of change there. So let's go to the Thriller, drop that resonance back a bit, bring the envelope up, I'm going to drop it off, and on.
Now, another nice thing about this is when you apply it to different presets, uh, especially like, you know, wavetable sounds that um, previously might have sounded a little bit uh, thinner and airy, these give it some, some kind of body. Uh, so if you go into your browse, you can go uh, category, you can change it up a bit here. So let's go right to pads. And I mean, you can just see that on the spectrum as well. It's it's a drastic difference. Let's let's I'm going to just kind of turn it on and off multiple times while I'm playing that. And what's nice is, though it's a it's a pretty pronounced sound that you're hearing, it's subtle enough to where it doesn't it doesn't feel like it's overhyped. It's not it's not getting in your way. It's just helping the body of the sound. And it happens before any kind of effects or anything like that. This is to the actual character of the synth. So this is, it's not just an effect that's that's on your pre effects area or anything like that. It's not just an EQ. Quite a nice update. So that's the free 1.3 update for Hydrosynth. This is Flux of FluxWith.com. Peace.